Welcome to the Short Track Swing. The Octon Cup Series is coming to South Carolina Speedway for round number five of the championship season in 2019. This is a very short track, but a longer race with 35 laps, which means there could be possibility of carnage. As you see, 26 cars probably shouldn't fit on this track, but Octon officials thought, ah, what the hell, let's go for it. So there you see the pole winner, Daniel Baldwin. He's getting married soon. And what a way to cap it off if he could win from the pole. There you see the 42 of Aaron Fisher. He's your current points leader and the only driver with zero DNFs for the season. In the back of the pack, you see Hendrick Motorsports. All five cars qualified below the 20th position, which could lead to bad circumstances. Then you see Brian McCormack, he's making a return in the number 26 Irwin Tools Ford. Mark Sabetka drove that earlier this year. And the field's going to roll off here as we're going to take a look at our starting lineup for South Carolina. There you see Daniel Baldwin on the pole with Matt Barbat, Isaac Jekyll and Tristan Agenstein there up there. Jeffrey Stanton, great qualifying run for him. James Kingmeyer back there along with Zach Buchanan. Jake Fisher, Jason Rockefeller making his second start. Evan Moore way in the back. Then you see the most of the Hendrick Motorsports guys and Diego Alvarado. Notable DNQ, Wesley Daniel. He is racing every race except this one now. As the pace car rolls off, the green flag is out and we're racing. Daniel Baldwin gets a great start over David Land. Two by two, here comes Tagenstein. He's going to take a position from Land. They're already catching the back of the pack. This is going to lead to some bad circumstances, and it has. Alex Johnson, Austin Moore. Oh, my goodness. There's David Land, James King. There's a wreck on the backstretch as well. There's just carnage all over the track. We're immediately under a red flag. Let's take a look at what happened. Looks like Daniel Baldwin just got impatient and got into the wall. And look at Austin Moore and Jeffrey Stan. Another tough break. We'll be right back with more after this. Welcome back. The field rolling in. We've got everything cleaned up. Green flag and there's a crash immediately. It's the two top two in the point standings. Matt Barbet and Aaron Fisher both have crashed out. Let's take a look at a replay of this. Ah, Trey Wright. He got a little antsy on that restart and we'll be back after this. Welcome back. Most of the top 10 in points have already crashed, and it hasn't even been 10 laps yet. But the green flag is waving. Look at Roger Carruth. He gets a great start. He's going to take the immediate lead on lap number 10. Carruth to the lead. He has a fast car like he did last week at Chicago. Look at Zach Buchanan in third. And there's a wreck again. Gino Harvey and three cars in turn three. That's McCormack's second wreck. It looks like... Jason Rockefeller Jr. gets into Gino Harvey. An unfortunate situation. Look at Evan Moore and Chad Micas. They're already parked. Micas won last week. As cars are in for pit stops. Not sure why. We'll be back again, hopefully, after this. Welcome back. For another restart, let's hope that we don't keep with the trend of cautions. The green flag's out for Tristan Hagenstein. Three wide, Roger Carruth comes to the inside and gives Hagenstein a bump. Those two have history after their crash in Ann Arbor, which resulted in a points penalty. But here comes Daniel Baldwin. Look at him. He's making moves. He pushes Trey Wright out of the way. And here comes Elijah Burke as well. Elijah Burke, he's looking for his first career victory as well as the 12 for Roger Carruth, who leads another lap. He has led a lot of Oh, my God. Goodness, Elijah Burke tried to make a move there, and it did not work out for him as Daniel Baldwin has moved up to second. A great job by Baldwin. He has driven his way all the way from the back to the front. Let's see if he can move the 12 out of the way and possibly have a shot here at winning this. Oh, crash! It's the 81, Paul Scott. He's in the wall. Declan flies up. Looks like he had a little help there. And it was the 21 of Jake Fisher who got into the 81. Well, he's on pit road. He's getting his car repaired on. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. Thankfully, there's not that much time left. 
Raja Karuth, Daniel Baldwin, and Elijah Burr. Green flag in the air. Daniel Baldwin hangs high on the high side. He is going to take the lead there as there's a spin. Ian Perez has spun around, and we're going to try it again. Perez looked like he got help from the 20 of Zach Buchanan. We'll be back with the restart. Hopefully they will make it without us having to go to overtime. This has been a record day for cautions. Green flag out in the way. Elijah Burke on the high side. He does not. He gets moved out of the way. Roger Carruth takes the white flag and he blocks Daniel Baldwin. Baldwin up in the air. Who won that race? There's a crash in the back. Roger Carruth has won the race as there's a fight on the back stretch and carnage everywhere. There's another fight going on. Roger Carruth. Had to be pushed with the track truck, but Daniel Baldwin looks to have lost. Yeah, he lost that race, definitely, as uh, Ian Perez looks like he got payback on uh, Zach Buchanan there and took out a couple other cars as well. But Roger Carruth, he's the man. He moves up to fourth in the standings as you look at our results. Daniel Baldwin, unfortunately, will not win today after winning the pole. Brandon Cattell, great run for him. Same with Jake Fisher and Dylan Schwallenberg. As you look at the point standings, they have tightened up. Daniel Baldwin leads one point over Aaron Fisher and Matt Barbat four points behind. Raja Karuth moves up to fourth tied with Evan Moore. Be sure to subscribe and check in for our next race. Take care.